Alright, so we attack, so we're frostbiting this thing. So you go there. And then we'll go spell shield. I don't know. Overwhelm. And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Sejuani Ash playing another deck that I think that can be really well positioned. This is another deck that I built today that I want to use to be able to fight the current metagame. So current metagame has a lot of aggressive decks, but it also has like these Sivir Ruin Runner decks. We've seen those a lot recently. Uh, where it makes having removal spells pretty difficult. But what you want to do is play to the board and control the board, control combat. Combat is really important right now. And so that's that's what we have is another deck uh, built to do that. Jarvan Shen, same way, but we're going to use Sejuani Ash now because I think people forget how good Frostbite is and how good Ash is. People don't really experiment with Ash outside of Noxus, um, Nearly enough, to be honest. Ash is a really powerful champion, being able to attack Frostbite, that strongest enemy, and you know, like that level up is so good as well. Really powerful champion that people don't play enough of. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Um, now, the Noxus, you know, playing Ash in Noxus traditionally has been really good, but right now, Culling Strike and um, Reckoning are not very good cards with a lot of units with large power. And then, of course, like I said, Sivir, Ruin Runner, stuff like that. The Lurkers have really large power. Instead, we want to be using some some Frostbite. I think Frostbite and Challenge and stuff like that is in a much better position. So Brittle Steel, very good quality spell right now. Lots of um, attackers have a lot of power, but not very much health. And, and, you know, maybe like Quick Attack, you know, like an Echo, for example. A lot of power, not very much health. And with Quick Attack. Sivir, if you get rid of the Spell Shield. Like that kind of stuff. Icefell Archer gets through Spell Shield. You know, you can Frostbite your enemies through the Spell Shield. Um, and also Sejuani, same thing, gets through Spell Shield. So I think Sejuani, just like how um, Jarvan matches up great against Sivir and um, Ruin Runner having the, you know, the challenge with the barrier, I think Sejuani matches up great against them as well because you can give Sivir a Ruin Runner, you can Frostbite them and give them Vulnerable through the Spell Shield and just challenge them. So I think Sejuani is an important card right now. Uh, we're going to have two challengers at the three mana spot, Rhymefang Wolf and a Protege. Good to have those challengers, especially Rhymefang Wolf when you're frostbiting stuff. So we're going to have that little combination there. Um, and, uh, you know, we'll have Troll Chant to help protect stuff. Well, And then Barriers. I talked about this also with people having Quick Attack and Spell Shield. You can't really use spells to get through. And so having Barriers. Barrier is a, a keyword that can... Uh, allow you to block your Ruin Runners and your Sivers and stay alive. So we'll have some, we'll have some Barrier stuff. We'll have Bright Seal Protector, Repost, Prismatic Barrier. I'm going to try two Harsh Winds, but to be honest, it may be a little bit too much Frostbite with Brittle Steel, Flash Freeze, and Harsh Winds, and maybe not enough protection. And so Harsh Winds is kind of expensive. I could see taking out Harsh Winds and playing the third Repost and third Prismatic Barrier, because I've been very happy with both barrier card so that's something while we while we play these games you know think about would harsh winds be better as repost and prismatic barrier and then of course we got one bright seal formation at the top end another you know this card is just so good at finishing out games and just winning you know winning board stalls and stuff like that so all right that's going to be our deck it's again very similar to jarvan shen not very much card advantage but it can control the board so let's give it a try sejuani ash Poros are really popular today. This is our third time playing Poros already. This is game number 11. I think third time playing Poros. Could be fourth. So we're going to keep Protégé. We want to find our champions, especially Ash, of course. I'm keeping Protégé here over the 3-2 challenger because the 3-2 challenger just dies there's wolf over the wolf because the wolf dies to the poros a little easier but now that we have brittle seal and prismatic barrier and ash rhyme thing wolf's looking a little better Hmm. 
It's only three damage. If I brittle steel and block, then I don't. Ha they only have two spell mana next round with the ash, and so I don't really have you know, another card like I want next round. As long as my opponent doesn't have like, they need poro snacks. If they don't have poro snacks, we're going to be in a great spot. If they have poro snacks, then life's going to get more difficult. Not spectacular. Not spectacular at all. So we traded Prismatic Barrier for the 3 1 and uh, 1 out of 5 for Ash level up. Not exactly what I was hoping for, but. Wow, they hit Elusive. Yeah, let's go for Dragon. No snacks, just attack. Let's do 6. Good. No snacks. I guess I don't need to be scared of, like, the really big Poro. The six mana Poro, because we have Rhymefang Wolf to kill it. So I guess I can just play this Protégé. So I can challenge another one of these daring Poros. All right, so we attack, so we're frostbiting this thing. So you go there. And then we'll go spell shield, I don't know, overwhelm. I want to get rid of those things. They got different options. What are they doing? Fury there. Let's frostbite it back. Now Ash is at three. Good, good round for us. Controlling the board. Killing four things. All of our stuff survives. And we draw that ash right away. Not bad. <laughs> there we go. All right, one and zero. Now begins a new era of peace. Talia Malphite. So I'm glad no thralls. First off. What kind of interaction do they have? Oh, they have like the... Oh, they have Ground Slam. Ground Slam is great against me. Stun plus do three damage. That card's very good. Yeah, I don't like Ground Slam. I see keeping the Flash Freeze. It's not good against Ground Slam, but it's kind of good otherwise. I'll just send it back. Kind of hoping for a troll chant to help out against Ground Slam. Gamma, did you see the full-on predict deck that we played yesterday? I liked how that one looked with having the Kahiris and everything. Zillion Echo Kahiri. Built it again, taking out like a lot, you know, not playing Mystic Shot or Thermogenic Beam or you know, taking out like those kind of removal spells that just weren't. Uh, cutting it and instead just playing um, you know, more predicts and just more curve out and uh, affect the board more and put more bodies out there and stuff like that. Let's go with the project. Strength and grace, beauty in the play. Their champs are leveling up, leveling up together. Arrow. 
Okay, yeah, I'll be up on YouTube today. Yeah, there's the ground slam. That was the card I was the most scared of. I can save it with Troll Chant. Yeah, I'll still do that. I was going to say, I do have another Ash I could play, but actually, no, we'll just do this. It's, you know, force them to have something else now to kill the Ash, right? Like, don't, don't let them. Yeah. Like, that Troll Chant is definitely worth a 5-2 Ash in play. Plus, that thing goes to zero power and is easy to kill. Yeah, that was worth playing. Do you ever think Ash will be back like she was years ago? <laughs> well, the game wasn't out years ago. But I, I think that Ash is still as strong as ever, and I think this is a good metagame for Ash. I, d I don't think people... Um, I think people have forgotten about Ash, or just don't experiment with Ash very much, or just don't... Or newer to the game and don't understand how good Ash is. Kindred asks, is the interaction with multiple Ashes or Kindred still bugged? And I don't know anything about that, to be honest. I have no idea. Gross. Their very best card against me, Ground Slam. They had kind of the only card that I was really scared of in the deck, and they had two copies. Tricky game. Gotta find a gift for an exit, right, Arda? I've got your pew cut. Wrap them up tight. We'll get our licks in. Enough stalling. Wrap them up tight. play Ash and open attack, of course. 15. I'm not doing 15 damage, though. I will unite the failure. Today, Ash, you'll see true leadership. Ride onward. I guess I can do 15 if I... Fury of the North. What are they... What am I scared of, of like, what's like the best thing they can play? Like, if I just start with the Iceville Archer, like, what are they playing that I'm scared of? I mean, I guess just ground, like, ground slam again. Like, that's like the... Basically, what I'm thinking is I may be able to, if they play an enemy with three or less health, I may be able to level up the Ash, and then these things can't block. No, stop. Unfortunately, won't quite be able to level up Ash on one away. <clears throat> but we are hitting for lethal now, though. There we go. All right, good win. Two and O. Oh.
So probably Poros, could be Yetis. We're probably one of those, Poros or Yetis. Hmm, maybe just keep the wolf. Are they going to be playing Mystic Shot? That's what I'm not sure about. You know, like, they are PNZ. Are they going to have Mystic Shot for my wolf? I don't know. We've had Ash both games, and that's definitely made our deck look a lot better, right? Ash is a really good card and makes our deck look a lot better with it than without it. Okay, it's Yetis. All right, probably should probably should kept the wolf, I guess. But yeah, I guess I should kept the wolf. Wolf's better with the frostbite stuff, but not as good against Mystic Shot. I will unite the Freljord. Time to go unite the Freljord. So this is really scary. Yeah. If that was Rhymefang Wolf who would have killed that trapper right there. But they just gave something plus three plus three in Overwhelm, and I was about to say the most likely thing is the Enraged Yeti. Um, I am just going to go with an Ice Bow Archer right here. So you're at three. Ash is at three right now. Yeah, I really wish I would have kept the wolf. The wolf would have already killed this thing and would have, yeah, wolf would have been great. Six power. I should have done. I should have done this yeti. So yeah, I can. I can just make it like where they can't block with stuff. But I'm not like attacking for lethal right now. The calm before the storm. Avarosa, guide me. I don't know. Oh, but then the 4-2 blocks the Ash now. Right, I should have... Okay. I was just focused on this. Okay, well, now I gotta use Troll Chan. Okay, well, that was a mistake. That was a mistake by me. I, sh I, should, just, I should just challenge, have the Ash challenge that thing. I didn't want to use the Troll Chan right here. That is not where I wanted to use that Troll Chan. But it is 2-mana spell that killed the 4-2. Can't complain too much. So what do they got? Do they have Buried in Ice? Because if they have Buried in Ice, I'm not happy. <laughs> they probably would have cast Buried in Ice already, though, you'd think, after I tapped out for set 20. Next time, I'm keeping the Wolf. Bow to no one. Why would you not play that before attacking? Ride onward! Protect the villages. These are our lands. These things are so big. I should have challenged this 8 8. This will not take long. Leave no survivors. So very good chance I lose this to Battle Fury, but I think this was a really winnable game. 
Um, just, you know, starting with, like, just keeping the Rhyme Fing Wolf, you know, keeping the Rhyme Fing Wolf. Basically just doing that and everything's different, and I think we win that game. I was too scared. Like, why am I scared of Mystic Shot? I should keep Rhyme Fing Wolf. All right, so, but good lesson learned, right? That's a very winnable game. That's a very good, very nice deck. Okay, so we got another board control deck. They're playing Sharima, so imagining Sharima for vulnerable stuff. That would be my guess. Those are good cards, but we need units. We're 25, 15 units and spells. 25 units, 15 spells. So far, we had we had nine out of ten, nine spells, ten yeah, nine spells, one unit, including the four we mulliganed. Before that, all right. So they're elite. So probably merciless hunter. Wow. I guess I use one of these because my I guess my units are super valuable right now. I guess I could use a spell. They're in a better spot than us because they have control of the board and have more cards in hand. We need real units. We need, you know, Ash, Screeching Dragon. You know, like, we need real units. But the good news is most of our deck are units now. Ready for, deployment. for how little we've had so far. See, there we go. Screeching Dragon. The young prince will be found. Arda's gonna make a meal of them. We'll get our meal. You won't leave a scratch. I've learned a trick or two. These things are so tough. Strike for justice. These things are so tough. Shield up. Let's go with the flash rays. All right, it's not too bad. I guess... I guess I'm doing this thing. No. No, I guess we do this. I want my Screeching Dragon to grow, which is kind of an, you know, it's like just an annoying spot with all of these. My father, the king. Sure. Anywho. Stand and fight. Just do this. Yeah, I guess that's why. Maybe I should have just done the three-three tough. Yeah, I probably don't want to use my frostbite. Okay, so yeah, I should have done the three-three tough probably. Barrett, my father 
send you? He did indeed. Surprised by that use of Jarvan, like when they did. Victory is near. Then lead our soldiers to it, my son. So these things all have scout. Keep the pace. If you've hurt him. Stand with your king. Bring them here. You will be scoured from this land. I'll turn the tide. It makes a lot more sense now why they just played the Jarvan when they did. You won't leave us crying. Yep, and so I, I should have I should have just killed this Vanguard defender. Um Alright, well. Okay, mistakes were made. I should have killed that Vanguard defender. They left me alive. That was a mistake. All right, there's a Sivir deck. I don't like Demacia Sivir because Demacia again can control the board, like that last Demacia deck we just played. Do I want both wolves? Kind of do. And I kind of want Repost. You know, what? let's let's go. I'm in there. I do like Laurent Bladekeeper. That was I I was kind of planning on playing Laurent Bladekeeper. It was in there. Um like as I was cutting down cards, I just ended up taking it out to you know fit room you know, because don't have room for everything, but I do like Laurent Bladekeeper. If you don't know yet, this is a better card than Old Doomkeeper. Five twos are very good. Down to twelve. Need that spell mana to help protect Ash. Great card right here. Wow, they had Shapestone? Oh man. Shapestone's always so brutal. <laughs> Dang, all right, yeah. Two really good cards there, the Yeah. GG's, man. Opponent's deck looks great. Jar like, as I talked about before with the Jarvan Chen, Jarvan's in a really good spot right now, and so playing Jarvan with Sivir and you get like the, just the broken Sivir package, but then you also have Jarvan and you have Shapestone, the yeah, opponent's deck looks great. Like this looks like a very good Sivir deck list. Yeah, this, this deck looks amazing. Found. 
They grind they grinded me down pretty good. Gotta find a gift for an GG's. Okay, so first first four games are all very winnable. I made some mistakes that had, that cost us our first two. That last one, I think my opponent had a, a very good list and a very good hand. Um, that deck looked really, really impressive. Um, yeah, and I just I couldn't quite keep up that Preservarium. Got them the extra cards, and then you know they just had yeah they had an awesome hand. Um, so there we go. Could maybe have a little bit more a little more power to it, right? Like a little bit more staying power. We never had harsh winds. Harsh winds would have maybe been good in like that last matchup, like where we could save a couple of things. Um, you know, like, we, yeah, like any of this kind of power would have been really nice. Jarvan's awesome. Yeah, Cataclysm with the Jarvan look good. I don't know about Screeching Dragon right now. Screeching Dragon, I've talked about this a little bit, but the 4 5, as opposed to previous formats, the, the 4 5 body isn't nearly as good. You know, Ruin Runner, again, kind of what it needs needs to match up with. And, of course, it can kill a Ruin Runner, but it's the Shape Stone. Like, the Ruin Runner plus the Shape Stone with the 5, you know, making that 5 health makes it where 5 is a really important number. And so I wonder, I wonder if, like, this would maybe be a little bit better with um, the Swift Wing Lancer instead. Like, you don't have, like, the, the high end, like, once you start getting Fury and all that kind of stuff with Swift Wing Lancer. But you do get... A random elite, which will get you a little bit more card advantage. Um, so that's that's definitely a possibility. Good to see. I could see a second bright steel formation. You know, bright steel formation just wins these kind of games that we see. Like this is just a bunch of back and forth with a whole lot of challenging and, and things like that. And bright steel formation just will win games. You know, you just gotta survive till round nine, but that's not too difficult to do. So I could definitely see this being like a two bright steel formation meta game. For how these how uh, these games play out, because you just see it's just a bunch. It's like combat's like the thing that's like super important. And uh, Sejuani was good when we had Sejuani. Not sure Sejuani would have been better than what Jarvan would have been. Honestly, like that's another thing that could just be an upgrade. Like Jarvan could just be an upgrade over Sejuani. It really could be with with how good Jarvan is in this meta game. It, to be honest, it probably is because we're not leveling up Sejuani in this deck, and it's not about leveling up. Um, yeah, that's, that's honestly just a, an upgrade. It really is for, for just how they, these games play out, what we're doing. Uh, cause we are having allies survive strikes and everything. And, you know, you, we, we will be leveling up Jarvan a whole lot in this deck and then leveled up Jarvan is incredible. So I, I wanted to try Sejuani, but honestly, like even with Ash and things, yeah, I think I would just play, just play Jarvan. That could give you like a little, you know, that could allow you to play because yeah, that's basically our, our last two opponents. You know, like they were playing Jarvan. Jarvan was Jarvan was better than Sejuani for this deck. That would give you the ability to play King Jarvan, to have a Jarvan boat to get a little bit more power. I like that. If we get rid of these harsh winds, play a couple King Jarvans, um, and then maybe one less dragon, one more barrier. Or maybe we just try, you know, try the Lancer instead of the Dragon. It kind of depends on, like, what kind of matchups you have also, like, whether the Dragon or the Lancer is better. But getting the random Elite's not bad. So maybe just try this as, like, the top end. I know it's not the Sejuani deck anymore, it'd be a Jarvan, but um, I think that could be just an, an improvement for the top end. And, uh, you know, I still think Ash is really good, and I think that Ash was really strong, but I think that the... We didn't quite have that power that we needed. Also, I made some mistakes, right? Like I said, like the, the first four games were all very winnable. I made some mistakes, but I think they would have been more winnable with these cards. But uh, learned to keep ramping wolves against yetis, that's for sure. <laughs> that was a bad mulligan decision by me. Anyway, um, yeah, give, give Ash a try. Those of y'all that like playing Frostbite, like playing Ash, this, I think Ash is great in this metagame. And I think this is this is the way to go. Go, go Jarvan, go King Jarvan, and uh, try that out. All right, but that's going to be it here for Sejuani Ash, or maybe once you try, it, once you change it out, Jarvan Ash. Um, those of y'all on YouTube, hit that like button, leave those comments, let me know what you think. Uh, you know, build in some decks for the current metagame. Hopefully, y'all have been enjoying them. Um, but that's going to be it here for this one. So leave those comments, let me know, and uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.